welcome 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 hello welcome Good evening. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody go ahead and share. share I'm just I'm just excited to be here at this time Canada, welcome. Hartford, Connecticut. Kingston, Jamaica, welcome. Hallelujah. It is well. It is well in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Birmingham, England, welcome. New Jersey, we welcome you. New York, welcome. Aruba is in the house. Welcome. Glory to God. Somebody go ahead and share this message. I know it's Friday night. You could have been elsewhere. And you are here with us. So welcome one and all. do you good. May the Lord bless you here tonight. May the Lord visit you. Jesus. Somebody go ahead and share. Yes. Pleasant good night to all. Canada, welcome. Hartford, Connecticut, we welcome you. Go ahead and share as you join. God bless you all. I just came out here to pray. Tomorrow our fasting begins. 
I don't know if anyone here remember tomorrow is the 15th the 15th when we start our fasting for seven days I invite you to join us in fasting race course Jamaica we welcome you hallelujah Canada the Canadians are here tonight they're rolling out Florida Boynton Beach welcome 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 yes I know many of you have been looking for me all day well here I am <laughs> here I am busy trying to get things in order for the fasting mm -hmm. Mr. Ophelia mm. fasting is not just preparing spiritually it's also preparing physically yes when you know that you're going on fasting you prepare yourself physically and spiritually you don't just jump on the fasting and uh, you're not prepared you're supposed to be prepared this is something we do once a month and i encourage you to sister pauline welcome how are you i invite you to be in the spirit when you are here you understand me fasting is a is a time set aside for us to eat and drink the word spiritually to dive into it amen mm -hmm. so i encourage you to prepare your heart and your mind it begins at midnight tonight there are no restrictions i encourage you to just eat in moderation there are no restrictions with the seven days of fasting but the lord gave me a word for the last day of the fasting it's gonna be a dry fast the last day of the fasting on the 21st of this month yes there will be a dry fast so <laughs> i know some of you have never done that before but the, this is what the lord placed in my spirit amen grenada welcome portland jamaica welcome you're just going to bed it's 2 a.m may you receive sweet sleep the bible tells us that god gives sweet sleep to the righteous amen the word of god said he gives sweet sleep to the righteous we give him praise old arbor church pen old arbor welcome god bless you sister denise we welcome you hallelujah if you're just joining for the first time may the lord breathe afresh upon you let us pray before we go anywhere before we do anything at all let us go into a moment of prayer god want to hear from you maybe you are here tonight just to receive a word in your spirit what god want to hear your voice he wants to know what's on your heart he already knows but he wants you to open your mouth and say what's on your heart amen so let us enter into a moment of prayer let us talk to god amen let us let us say something it's friday it's friday night uh in england it's saturday morning at dawn so it has been a long week he has been good unto us he has kept us this far i encourage you to join us in prayer hartford connecticut new jersey join us in prayer and let us pray 
let us open our mouth and talk to God. Our fasting begins tomorrow for seven days. And God has been good to us. You know, he has kept us this far. You and I, we don't know what's around our corner. We don't know what tomorrow may bring. Let us give him thanks for the week that he has kept us and thanks for the week ahead. The week that has passed, that he has kept us. We are entering into the weekend. Let us give him thanks for the week ahead. New Virginia Beach, join us in prayer. We welcome you. Let us give God thanks for the week ahead. We are entering into our fasting at midnight tonight. My God. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let us thank him. Father, we thank you. Have your way, O oh God. Let your will be done. Your divine will, not my will, thy will. Let thy will be done for your glory. Do what you do best, Lord. According to the word of God, in the book of Genesis, the Bible reminds us, while the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest shall not cease. Spring, summer, winter, and fall. Fall and winter will never stop. So Lord, as we are getting ready to enter into our week of fasting, we ask your mighty God. Some people are waiting to enter into their season. You said, while the earth remain, seed time and harvest. Those who have sown their seed, oh God, let them begin to reap their harvest. Let them enter into their time of harvest. In the name of Jesus Christ, according to the word of God, you said it shall not stop. And therefore we ask you, oh God, let your store baskets never be empty. Let your people that are entering into this fasting in this season, Lord God, let it be well with them in the name of Jesus Christ. We come up against every canker worm. We come up against every palmer worm. We come up against every locust. Lord God, let it be well with your people as they are getting ready to enter into a moment of fasting, a week of fasting. Lord, I ask you to strengthen them. Strengthen them against everything that will destroy the flesh. Strengthen them, O oh God. Back them up on every side in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask you tonight, Lord God, let it be well then be able to say it is well and those that have been taken for granted oh lord we put a stop order to it right now your people that have been taken for granted we're asking your lord god to intervene intervene in the name of jesus christ we pray oh god right now even now i cover myself in the blood of jesus christ let your will be done tonight as I humble myself tonight, Lord God, to speak to your people, use me to your glory. Speak to your people through me, Lord. Manifest yourself. Holy Spirit, we welcome you now. Holy Spirit, blessed Holy Spirit, we welcome you now. Come and dine with us tonight. Spirit of the living God, have your way. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Somebody go ahead and bless the Lord. Bless God. Bless God. I don't know. I don't know why you're here. But I encourage you to be obedient. Yes. There's a scripture. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. If you're just joining, welcome. If you're here for the first time, welcome and God bless you. Somebody go ahead and share our YouTube channel. We need more subscribers. We do. We need more subscribers to our YouTube channel. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. We need more subscribers.
to the YouTube channel. According to the book of Jeremiah chapter 29, there's a scripture there that is speaking to us. In verse 13 it says, And you shall seek me and find me, and when you shall search for me with all your heart. When you shall search for me with all your heart. He said, you, will, you that seek me will find me. We will be seeking the face of God for seven days. On behalf of El Shaddai Prayer Tower. We will be seeking the face of God. Good night. We will be seeking the face of God for the ministry for seven days. So you that are part of the ministry, it's time for you to pray so you can receive your breakthrough. Amen. He said, and I will be found of you, saith the Lord, and I will turn away your captivity and I will gather you from all the nations and from the places where I have driven you, said the Lord. I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. So you see, what the Lord is saying here, many times some people enter into situations. It was not someone that did it to you. The Lord said, I will bring you back and give you back your life. Give everything back to you that you have lost. I will place you where I want you to be. He said, when I cause you to be carried away captive. Sometimes you might be in a situation and nothing is happening for you. You're in bondage. You have been held against your will. When God allowed Babylon to take over, Daniel and the three other Hebrew boys were part of, of the captivity. So they were taken out of their comfort zone to stay in Babylon, to be trained to become Babylonians. So they got their names changed. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were not their names. Their names were changed. They gave them Babylonian names. I don't know who God is using me to talk to tonight. But you might feel like, I I'm wondering why I'm going through this. Why am I going through this? Why is this happening to my children? Why are all of this happening all at once? Why is everything tumbling down on me? God will allow some things to happen until you subject yourself, oh Jesus, to the Holy Spirit. You will never be free. Many times you are going through hardship. It's not on purpose. No one didn't put anything in your way or distract you so you could lose focus it is god that wants your attention so he allow you to be held in captivity many times you might enter into some relationship and you wonder who are these people why can't this thing work out of disobedience god will cause you to go through those error 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 you're walking in error Many people are going in the wrong direction. And until, until, until they surrender all to God. Anybody remember the king of Babylon? Even though he had those Hebrew boys, God gave them authority over Israel at the time. So it was not something that was done illegally. God gave them authority to take them, to kill them captive. And what they did, they took the best. Daniel and the, them three boys, they were the best at the time. They were strong. They were knowledgeable. And they were blessed. But when they had them in Babylon, they try to change them. I don't know who God is using me to talk to tonight.
They tried to change them. The first thing they did, they changed their names. Then they had challenges with food. So Daniel had to show them that if he just avoid certain things, he would look better. You see, I'm here to let you know tonight, people of God, it doesn't matter where you are. You don't have to, you don't have to change to please them. The Bible said, be renewed. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Don't be conformed to the world. Don't allow what's happening around you to change you. Daniel and the other men, they held on to their faith. And what happened? The king of Babylon, he had to go outside to live like animal. So I'm here to let you know, the man had to get on his knees and crawl on all fours and eat grass until he acknowledged God. I don't know who is here going through hardship tonight. I don't know who is here going through something. But we are praying for El Shaddai's prayer towa. What it's called, a towa. When when you have the phone, that what they call it, the 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 G, the, the, the those phone that needs those towa, they go around and they build the towa so the phones can get signal to work. We are praying for El Shaddai prayer towa. What is a towa? It's above ground. Oh, Jesus. Mm, 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 mm. Hallelujah. We are, we are praying for El Shaddai. Prayer Toa. Jesus. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, thank you, Holy Spirit. Anybody know what a tower means? It's a tall, narrow building, either freestanding or forming part of a building such as a church or a castle. <laughs> and if you look again, the verb for the word towa, it says to raise, raise to or reach a great height. I don't know if anybody here get it. The word towa, the verb means raise to or reach a great height. Hallelujah. So I want you to know the word Toa, we are talking about El Shaddai prayer Toa. I, 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 I so, <laughs> thank you, Holy Spirit. I want you to know that you are not praying for something that's flat. You are praying for something tall. Many of you, since you enter this ministry, all you're facing is problems. Why? Because you have God sent you over here. You're on training ground. When the Hebrew boys went over into Babylon, they went into the enemy's territory, but they were on training ground. They did not know that they could go through fire. They did not know that they could be in the lion's den and not get eaten because this thing has never happened before. So I'm here to talk to somebody here tonight. They has never ever faced the challenges that they faced when they were in in babylon the challenges that they faced in babylon was not normal remember they were just lovers of the faith they were followers of jesus christ they loved the lord but their faith was never tested the way it was tested in babylon jesus Mm. Did anybody get it? Did anybody get it? Many times, 
you are in a relationship and God purposely allow you to enter that relationship to teach you a lesson how do you know according to Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 14 he said and I will be found of you said the Lord and I will turn away your captivity and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you say the Lord and I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive so many times you're going through some things don't blame anybody God is allowing you to go through this many of you are in Babylon right now but Babylon cannot destroy you Babylon is only to build you when does he, you see, many times we talk about the fire, the fourth man in the fire. That's what the word of God said. <coughs> Excuse me. Many times we talk about the portman in the fire. Many times we talk about Daniel in the lion's den. But was Daniel ever been in a lion den before? No. <coughs> Excuse me. Has those Hebrew boys ever been into a furnace before? No. They, their faith was tested to prove that God was with them God allowed the thing to happen many of you don't want to go through any fire many of you are going into the lions then but you are making problems don't 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 fight it God is saying here tonight he said seek me and you shall find me when you search for me with all your heart so many of you will not experience God until you have problems. When you have problems, you will seek him with all your heart. There is nowhere to turn when your back is against the wall. Jesus. I remember times back in the day when I couldn't pay my rent. I had no job. And when the church offered to pay my rent, I couldn't take it. <laughs> Did anybody hear that? The church that I was a part of, I was there preaching. I was broke. Yes, I'm preaching and I'm broke. And I don't have food in my house. But I'm faithfully going to church to preach. I'm faithfully standing on that podium to bring forth the word of God in power and might that he gave to me. And my rent was not paid. My car note was not paid, but I had to trust God. You see, it's, it was in the moment of weakness, in my breaking point, I learned that I couldn't take any money from the church. Many of us are going around thinking that, why, why is this happening? When is God going to send someone? No, God wants you to go through the fire. He will be right mm. He will be right there with you. <coughs> he will be right there with you. Now tonight, I don't know who God is using me to talk to. But what God did, God allowed those men to go to Babylon. God allowed them to go through separate challenges. Their challenges were not the same. Their challenges were not the same. Daniel carried a different grace. The Bible said he had, a, he had a wonderful spirit. The Bible spoke of Daniel that he had a wonderful spirit. Now the man who had a wonderful spirit, he was cast in the lion's den. Why? Because he prayed. People of God, listen to me. We are not praying for a regular church. We are praying for a prayer towa. 
And if you look at the verb, what a tower means, it tells us that raise to or reach a great height. You are praying for, for a ministry in the realms of the spirit that is at a great height. It's called El Shaddai prayer tower. It's a prayer tower. What is prayer? Prayer is what we use to pull strength from heaven. Oh, Jesus. Prayer is the connection. My God. Mm -mm -mm. Hallelujah. I don't know what's going on tonight. Hallelujah. But we are in the 10th month. And number 10 signifies, the Bible reminds us that 10 is viewed as a complete and perfect number. It represents man's responsibility to God's commandment. This is why we have 10 commandments. Number 10 <clears throat> represent man's responsibility to keep God's commandment. Hallelujah. I don't know if anybody here is getting an understanding of where we are here tonight. Mm. Jesus, may the Lord open your eyes. May the Lord open your spiritual eye. According to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29 and verse 14, God is saying, all the things that happened to you, I am going to bring you again into a place where you are supposed to be. The place that you were in, I put you there to go through hardship. So now that you pass the test, remember, the Hebrew boys passed the test. They did not complain. Many times some of us are going through some things and we complain too much. Allow God to take you through it. Oh, Jesus. Allow God to take you through the, through the things. Remember, if you study the Bible carefully, the Bible make it clear that Caleb and Joshua were spies. Hmm. <coughs> Caleb, <coughs> excuse me, Caleb and Joshua, they were spies. And when they went to search out the land, they came back with good news. And what did they say? The land that we pass through is good land. And we are going to pray that God will show us favor to get our portion of the land. Tonight we will pray that God will show El Shaddai prayer to our favor. Favor from God according to the word of God the Bible said Caleb and Joshua said the land that we pass through is excellent it's flowing with milk and honey let us pray that God will show us favor and grant it to us they didn't stop they passed through the land so they get to see what's going on many of us we don't want to go through anything as soon as we see some problems, we are trying to find ways to turn back. Remember the children of Israel, when they were in the wilderness with Moses, they complained they wanted to go back into bondage. Ah. They said, Moses, you want to kill us. Where we were, we had good food. We had cucumber, we have onion and tomato and fish and watermelon. But Moses, you're taking us to a dry place. Many people don't want to go through anything. They rather stay in bondage. They rather stay in captivity. God is saying, I'm bringing you back to where you belong. I'm taking you out of captivity. God said you are in captivity. 
because I place you in captivity. Now it's time for you to get out of it. You were being sustained like the Egyptians with a little bit of food. God said, I'm taking you to a place of abundance. Open your mouth, people of God, and pray. Tonight we pray for the favor of God to be upon El Shaddai. We pray for the favor of God to be upon El Shaddai prayer tower. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It doesn't matter where you are. If you can't say it loud, pray in your spirit. Pray in the spirit. We pray for the favor of God to enter El Shaddai prayer tower. Somebody open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, we pray for the favor of God to enter El Shaddai prayer tower. Lord, let your will be done. Somebody open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray tonight, Lord God, for your favor to reach El Shaddai prayer tower. It is a tower of strength. The Bible reminds us that the name of God is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. Open them out and pray. Open your mouth and pray. For the favor of God. To dwell among El Shaddai prayer tower. Many of you need healing and deliverance. So ask God to release it. To rest it upon El Shaddai. So you can receive your blessings. Whatever come to the ministry, you're a part of it. You will get your portion. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Hey, about our course, brother Devon, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Open your mouth and pray. Yes, open your mouth and pray. Yes, open your mouth and pray. Come closer. I want to hear you. Come and pray for the ministry. Open your mouth and pray. Whoever is here that is a part of the ministry, you are the one that will benefit. We thank you, mighty God. We, have hey, we, Father, as we, look we are here in agreement as tonight. Hey, somebody Lord. open your mouth and you pray. We ask for divine us, release. Lord. You will touch us, Lord. You hey, will Jesus, we are asking for divine release upon El Shaddai prayer tower. My God. He said, the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. We pray tonight that he will release in El Shaddai so you can release, so you can really receive. My God. Jesus. Lord God, as you hear us this night, Lord, I thank you as we come together. I thank you, Lord, as you see open him out and declare it. As we speak this word, Lord, Hallelujah. as we come into agreement, it shall come to pass. Lord, as we look towards you, it shall come to pass. There's not one word that we mention tonight, Lord, will not come to pass because, Lord, you is our Lord, you is our God, Jesus. you is our King, you is our Maker, you is our Redeemer, you Mighty is our strong God. tower. <clears throat> Lord, the name of you is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. Tower. Because you is a Savior. By the you is a God, you is a King, you is Jesus. Us, mighty God. Mandarababo Kosoto Radabaya Kashata Rabako Sata Strong Tower The righteous run into it and are safe and they are saved, mighty God. We look to you this morning, we look to you this evening, we look to you tonight, Lord. We will never Jesus lack or go without you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen to me, people of God wherever there is blessings and you go there you'll be blessed yes. wherever the spirit of the lord is there is liberty the bible you know the other day i had a revelation from the lord and i wrote it down i i, I was i was going through the book of genesis and i had a revelation and i i just begin i was just worshiping god where the Bible tells, God told Abraham, he said, I will bless those who bless you. And I will curse those who curse you. Many times you might, it might be a small token that the Lord told you to, play, to place in your heart to give to someone. And as soon as you release it, he will give it back to you. Why? He will even give you more. Why? Because you just bless someone. 
who God who the promise of God is upon your life. He said, I will bless those who bless you. So when you are Jesus, when the promise of God is upon someone's life and you bless that person, God said he will bless you. Because you bless one of his favorite. You bless someone who there is a promise upon your life. When God tell you to be a blessing, don't hold back. You don't know what he's getting ready to do in your life. God will never tell you to bless someone unless he has something for you. He wants you to stretch forth your hands. Many of you are blessed. You don't know. You don't know the blessings that's upon your life because you refuse to be a blessing. God said to Abraham, I will bless those who bless you. And I will curse. Sometimes you, you see some people getting cursed out. Don't get involved. Don't get involved. There are times some people are getting cursed out. Don't get involved. Why? They curse somebody. <laughs> they curse someone that the promise of God is upon their life. And there is a covenant prayer. There is an Abrahamic covenant the person is under. When God said, I will curse those who curse you. And this is why some people are cursed. They are cursed because they mess around and curse someone who the promise of God is upon their life. Some people, it doesn't matter what they have, they'll never be able to enjoy it because they are under curse. They are in relationship with people who are under curse. I don't know who God sent me here to talk to tonight, but like I said, the Hebrew boys was, were down there in Babylon. God was making an example out of them. They were faced with challenges that they have never been faced with before. And God came through for them. So whatever challenge you are faced with, wherever you are, you might be in a place of discomfort. You might be going through hardship. You might, have, you might be at a job and you are getting the worst assignment. I came to say this. Be still. The Lord said I should tell you this. Be still. Be still. Daniel was accused because he was an intercessor. The Bible said he prayed three times a day. The Bible said Daniel looked through the window and he turned his face. I don't know who God is using this message to talk to tonight. The Bible said Daniel looked through the window. He faced Jerusalem and he began to pray. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're facing. But that hardship that you're facing, no one will be able to help you. Because God is in it. He wants to bless you. He wants you to go through the fire. He don't want no one to have any say-so in your blessings. Some people will help you just to say, it was me. Some people will give you a helping hand. And the whole social media knows about it. So you're better off not asking for any help. Wait on the Lord. Daniel waited. He was cast in the lion's den. The Holy Spirit went in with him. The Holy Spirit was there with Daniel in the lion's den. The Holy Spirit was present. The lions fell asleep. I don't know who God is using this message to talk to tonight. But we have another prayer to pray. The Holy Spirit was there. The fort man, the, the, there was a fort man in the fire. When those boys were thrown into the furnace. I would call it the hoven. They cast them into a hoven. And turn up the flames. They turn up the heat. Oh Jesus. As the word said. The hotter the battle. The sweeter the victory. I don't know who is here tonight. Jesus. I don't know who is here tonight that is in battle. Ha! Huh. But the Bible tells us that the Lord is strong and mighty. The Lord is mighty in battle. The Lord is strong and mighty. 
The Lord is mighty in battle. I don't know what kind of battle you're facing tonight. But I encourage you to open up your mouth and declare that God is sending strong soldiers to El Shaddai prayer tower. If the, I don't know if anybody get this revelation. Jesus. You know they build those 5G tower. Right? They build those 5G tower for the phones. So you can use your phone. A tower has to be built in the community where you live. In order for you to use your phone. So God is giving us a prayer tower. A place that we can go to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. To destroy. To pull down. What did he say to Jeremiah? What did he say to Jeremiah? What did the Lord say to Jeremiah? He said, Jeremiah, I have your assignment. I have your assignment. What is your assignment? You're going to root out. You're going to pull down. You're going to destroy. You're going to throw down. You're going to build. And you're going to plant. So tonight we pray in the name of Jesus. That Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 10. My God will be manifested in El Shaddai prayer tower. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10 will manifest. We declare Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10 upon El Shaddai prayer tower tonight. Somebody open your mouth and pray to pull down mighty God. To root out, to destroy, to throw down, to build and to Jesus and to plant. In the name of Jesus, somebody open your mouth and pray. God is sending strong soldiers. Weak soldiers cannot throw down anything. Weak soldiers cannot dwell in a tower. First of all, they are afraid of the heights. And we are going to higher heights. And deeper depths. In prayer. We are going to higher heights. And deeper depths in prayer. We are going to root out in prayer. We are going to pull down according to the word of God. Anything... That is set forth. Anything that was planted to stop El Shaddai, we root it out tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Anything that was planted to Bakoshoto Roboko Saya, we root it out. We root it out. We root it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything. Anything that was a setup against El Shaddai prayer tower tonight, we pull it down. Why? The Bible tells us that the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. They are mighty true God. To the pulling down of strong wall. To the pulling down of strong wall. Tonight, every strong wall that goes up against El Shaddai, we pull it down. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every strong wall. If you are a weak soldier, you cannot pull down strong wall. So may the Lord anoint you to join us. Tonight, we pull down every strong wall. The Bible said these are the things that God told Jeremiah that he would be doing. He would be rooting out. He would be pulling down. He would destroy. So tonight we destroy everything that is set up against El Shaddai prayer tower. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth tonight. We make Oroboko Sataba. We destroy every plan of the enemy. We destroy everything. We destroy them and their plans. We destroy them and their family. We destroy them. We send gunshots in the air. If you are a part of El Shaddai, I want you to pray. This is for you. Tonight, we destroy everything that was set up to destroy you. Everything that was set up to destroy you, tonight we destroy it. Everything that was set up to destroy you, we destroy it. Everything that was set up to destroy you, we destroy it by the fire of God. 
by the fire of God we destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth anything that was set up to destroy you tonight we destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ it might seem as if what is pastor saying it's time for you to pray many of you some people will start showing a bad face because you're here tonight praying these prayers many of you they will start showing a bad face they will start ignoring you they will begin to show you their back when you see them they they turn their back because you're here to pray tonight tonight we pray and we destroy anything that was set up to destroy you we destroy it by the fire of god mighty god in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we're not done you're not we're not done tonight we throw down everything that will come up against you that will come up against el shaddai we throw it down we tear it down we pull it down we stop it we pull it down we throw it down we root it out we pull it down we destroy it we throw it down in the name of jesus christ of nazareth everything that was a setup against el shaddai prayer tower we root it out we pull it down we destroy it we throw it down my god in the name of jesus christ if you're here and you don't feel like praying something is wrong we are praying for the ministry so whatever is going on in your life it's time for you to release yourself yes this is the word of god we are in the book of jeremiah chapter one we are in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1. God was giving Jeremiah his assignment. He was giving him the assignment description. Jeremiah said, I'm too young. I'm just a child. I don't even know how to talk. God said, don't worry about that. I got you. This is what I'm going to use you to do. He said, I'm going to use you to build. Jesus. Tonight we pray that the building for El Shaddai will be established. Here, the Bible said to build. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is nothing to stop El Shaddai's building. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, there is nothing to stop it. There is nothing to block it. There is nothing to destroy it. Somebody open your mouth and begin to pray. There is nothing to stop it. We are starting our fasting at midnight tonight and we are praying that there is nothing to stop it. There is nothing to stop what God will do in the building. There is nothing to stop the building of El Shaddai prayer tower in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Jesus. Nothing. Nothing to stop the building. The Bible talk about planting. We will plant churches. We will plant churches, mighty God. And we will plant vineyards. We will plant churches. And I hear the Lord said vineyard. And we will plant vineyards. We will bako shetada, bako saya. But for those of you who know me personally, you know I have green thumb. And we will plant vineyards for the Lord. We will plant vineyards. The Bible tells us that God placed Adam and Eve in the vineyard, in the Garden of Eden. Listen to me, people of God. We will plant to the glory 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 of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My God. Nothing can stop us. According to the word of God. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10. 
will be established upon El Shaddai. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 13 and 14 will be established upon El Shaddai prayer tower in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 14. My God. Jesus will be established upon El Shaddai prayer tower. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Verse 13 and 14. You know, according to verse 11, it says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace, not evil. Thoughts not to give you an expected end. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you. That means God is taking you to an expected end. No one will determine where God will take you. It's to, up to him. His expectation. An expected end. My God. An expected end from God. Tonight we pray. That Jeremiah chapter 29 will be established upon El Shaddai prayer tower. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10 will be established upon El Shaddai prayer tower in the name of Jesus Christ. I only come out here tonight to discuss our fasting. But this is what the Lord wants us to do. It is done. It is finished. People of God, listen. Our fasting begins at midnight tonight. If you are up at midnight, just begin to pray. I'm just saying. I'm not telling you to stay up tonight till midnight. But if many people are in England, it's already Saturday morning. Yeah. So, just begin to pray. If you are on the platform tonight, this at this hour, and you are in England, when you get up, just Put the fasting before God. Lift up El Shaddai before God. It is well. It is well. It will be established. The Bible said he established it upon the seas. No one can stop this. No one. No demon from the pit of hell. No strong man. No politician. No one. Will be able to stop what God is doing in El Shaddai prayer tower. So if you are here. It might not look that way to you. Just hold your peace. Hold your peace. Our fasting begins at midnight tonight for seven days. I, and it will be until the 21st of this month. And on the 21st of this month, starting at midnight. Yes. So the, 20, the 20th, midnight, the 20th. Please, no food. It's a dry fast. The last day of the fasting will be a dry fast. No tea, nothing. If you get thirsty and you're on medication, go ahead and take your medication. Do what you have to do. But remember, it's going to be a dry fast for the last day. If you are on medication, take your medication. Do what you have to do. Get a little something in your stomach and take your medication. But it's going to be a dry fast. The last day. We have never done that before. But this is what the Lord said. So I encourage you to be in the spirit. Just abstain from the things that you love. During this fasting. Minimize your conversations. And focus on what God is saying. Something happened. I think it's earlier this week I received a testimony. I would really love to share it. I would really love to share it. I don't know how well it will go, but I'm going to try. Amen. Let me see if I can find it. God is faithful, you know. And, and I'm here to say this sometimes things happen in our life when God is getting ready to bless you the devil will always show up hear this Pastor, um, bless 
good afternoon, Pastor. Um, this is the month of October. I don't know if you remember, but I remember. In 2000, 2020 actually, it, um, when I purchased um, the white Infinity truck, Blessed afternoon, Pastor. Um, this is the month of October. I don't know if you remember, but I remember. In 2000, 2020 actually, it, um, when I purchased um, the white Infinity truck, and I come to church with it, I prayed. You know, I go to the church in Waterbury, your old church, and you prayed. That's exactly what you said. You said, woman of God, you said, this is not for you. You said, God has something better for you. And I say I receive it. So Saturday, <laughs> I went to the car dealership. Saturday, I never go to the intention to buy in a car. I just go and me a look. Never test drive the car or nothing. So when I went there, the guy was like, "How much down payment you want?" I said five hundred dollar. And then I said, "The notice speak, speak to him." I said to the guy, "I said no money down, zero money down." It was approved. Everything we not even a dollar down. <laughs> I remember, you know. For me to get a new car, it was also on my covenant, the covenant seed that I did. Because I put a couple of stuff up that I asked God for. And God gave me that car. And another thing with that too, because you also told me that <laughs> I'm going to get another car. That was two years ago. And it was in the month of October. So now when I October, yes, October 2022, I look on the car what God gave me. I'm going to send you the picture of the car. Have a blessed day. I don't know if anybody heard that. That is a voicemail, voice note that two years ago a prophecy the woman came and she showed me her infinity truck and I blessed it that's just what I do prayed over it and while I was praying over it the Lord used me to speak to her so I spoke to her she said the Lord said that she's gonna get a better car two years ago October she came to church now here's the picture Here's the picture of the new car. I don't know if you can if you can see it. No, she received a, a BMW. <laughs> she received a BMW. We give God honor and praise. Yes. A BMW. She sent a picture. This is my baby, and I name her Esther. And she same named the, the, the car Esther. Esther so, believe what she said. She said her covenant seed that she sent. And when she wrote one of the covenant prayers were to receive a new car. We remember we started the covenant last month. This is just month number two into the covenant yes she bought an infinity truck brought it to the church i prayed over it god spoke whatever god said no two years later it came to pass anyone here that is struggling with your faith my prayer is that god answer your prayer start believing you will receive and this is just the beginning of some of this woman of God blessing. And I'm going to say this right here. Any day she decided to be fully obedient to God. She will be blown away by the things that God is going to do in her life. Any day that she shut out the world completely. She's walking with God. But any day that she's walking with tunnel vision, she will begin to see the hand of God completely. That is just a glimpse of what God has for her. So I'm here to tell the people of God, obedience 
is greater than sacrifice. When God speak, he do it. He don't lie. God don't lie. I'm just sharing this little nugget tonight. For those of you here who are waiting for your blessings oh, from the Lord. I think it's earlier this week. Yes. For those of you who are waiting for your blessing from the Lord. Uh, sometimes I don't remember anything unless someone remind me. I'm not going to remember. She said, Rev, you said two years ago in October. So now it's two years later. So it's the anniversary, the month, the anniversary month. So God changed your story. And this is just a glimpse, just a tiny glimpse of what God is going to do in your life. Many things that we are experiencing and we are laughing, it's just the beginning. God didn't really bless her. God just showed her something. Hallelujah. God just showed the woman something. That's not a blessing. He just showed her who he is. And this is for someone that's here tonight to understand that God is here with us. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a it's a it's a, a testimony, but it's just a glimpse of the blessings of the Lord. My God, I pray tonight. That you that are here with your covenant prayer. Write them down. Write down your covenant prayer. Our fasting begins at midnight. Write down your covenant prayer. She said that was one of the things that's on her covenant prayer. Mighty God. Write down your covenant prayer. I don't know what you're looking for from the Lord. All I have to do is pray. It's up to your faith. Whatever you believe is what you will receive. God bless us according to our... Welcome, Sister Nadine. God bless you. God bless you according to your faith. If you sow your seed and you don't believe, you're not going to receive anything. So tonight I pray over every covenant seed. I lift it before God. In the name of Jesus Christ. The woman said Rev. You prayed over the car. When you were blessing the car. You said this is not your car. You are going to get a better car. Uh, that has nothing to do with me. That's God. So I am here tonight to let. For those of you who have your covenant seed in. Write down your request. God will honor it. God will honor your request. Write down your request. We are in the 10th month. We are in the month of October. Write down your request. God is about to blow your mind. It is well. It is well. I'm just sharing that. There are a lot of testimonies, but I just decided to share that, just that one. As we are getting ready to enter into our fasting. Write down your request and watch God. You see, many of us, we want it right away. But it was two years ago and God came through. Many of us, we want it right now. You might be in the lion's den. And you're looking for help. Look to Jesus Christ. You might be in the furnace. With the other two men. But if there's a fourth man joining. You won't get burned. So tonight I pray. That the fourth man that's in the fire. Will protect your finances. The fourth man that's in the fire. God himself was in the lions then Waiting for Daniel. The fourth man that was in the fire. He was the second man in the lion's den. 
So tonight I pray that you will, you will, you will, you will experience the hand of God during the six months of covenant that we have entered into. Mighty God, these six months of covenant that we have entered into, I pray that you will experience it. The hand of God, mighty upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. My God. Mm. God answer prayer. Write down your prayer requests. And send off your covenant seed. And watch God. We're doing it for six months. It started last month. Watch God. This is just the beginning. Many of you are going to move into a house that you didn't buy. Hey, hey. Many of you are going to get position that you're not even qualified for. Because of this covenant. Many of you are going to testify that bring tears. People won't believe it. Watch God. Watch God. Watch God. Just watch God. My God. Jesus. <laughs> watch God. It is well. Yes. Just watch God. Watch him. Somebody you're here and you're sick. And God said I'm going to heal you. Doctors are giving you the run around. But I hear the Lord said I'm going to heal you. Hallelujah. Jesus. Because one thing for certain. My God answers prayer. Yeah, one thing for certain. God answer prayer. Watch him. Watch God. This is the thing, people of God. You are not under any obligation to do anything that you are uncomfortable doing. You see, the Bible tells us that the Lord loves a cheerful giver. But this time, it's all about you. It's not about El Shaddai. It's all about you. Your covenant prayer has to do with your covenant seed. Remember this. Your covenant prayer has to do with your covenant seed. It has nothing to do with El Shaddai. This is between you and God. It could have been elsewhere. He said you, to, you should send it. But no. He has never done anything like this before. And we pray that your prayer will come to pass. Your requests, I pray that the Lord will honor your request. My God. I pray, I, I, I don't know, there is going to be a celebration. I see someone going into a white limousine. I, I don't know who it is here, but there's a celebration coming up. Uh, Jesus, may the Lord bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. I hear the Lord said, somebody here, a celebration is coming up. You will be going into a white limousine. God is opening your door. God is opening your door. I don't know who it is. I I don't know who it is. But it is my prayer that you will live it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. It is done. Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us pray. We have prayed some prayers. Let us share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. <laughs> I encourage you to be obedient. We are fasting. People of God, don't overeat. 
train yourself to yes some people tend to have a big meal because they are fasting you need results so i encourage you to eat in moderation fasting starts at midnight tonight wherever you are some people are um five hours ahead of us and more i encourage you to eat in moderation if you are under fasting if you are sick and you're joining us in fasting i encourage you take your medication eat something and do, continue your fast i can't afford to let any of you get sick because i don't know what's going on but in the meantime i'm praying for divine healing in your body in the name of jesus christ amen if you're here and you're not saved it's time for you to turn your life over to jesus christ welcome welcome i know it's like uh seven o'clock where you are 7 p.m you're gonna have to watch the broadcast welcome i you're just joining you're gonna have to go back and watch it amen i encourage you if you're here and you're not saved it's time for you to turn your life over to jesus christ and if you decide to join us and you're not a member of a church, you can send us a message on WhatsApp at 860-634-8557. Amen. Hallelujah. I encourage you, if you are a member of a church and you want to partner with us in giving, the number is 860-634-8557. You can use Zelle, PayPal, or Cash App. If you don't have any of those apps and you want to be a blessing to this ministry, you can give us a call at 860-634-8557 and we will tell you how direct you how you can give. Amen. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. And if the Lord touches your heart to bless the ministry, that's the number yes eight six zero six three four eight five five seven people of god will get ready to go on fasting and i pray that you know you just allow the lord to use you in this time humble yourself don't be fussing over anything don't ah uh, uh, jesus i hear the lord said sudden death Oh, Jesus. I hear the Lord said sudden death. It is well. Hallelujah. It is well. May the Lord do what he does best. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. Ho, 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 ho. Jesus. It is well. Once again, my time is up. I have to go. Have yourself a wonderful night, people of God. Remember, our fasting begins. Our fasting begins for seven days. Amen. Be blessed and be focused. And have yourself a good night.